It's early to the tee, and Jack was sitting on a little, on the little stick seat over to the left of, of, of the tee, which is about 30 feet away from me. I went in the big pocket of the bag to, uh, to get a fresh glove out, and I had a rubber snake. And I held the snake up, and Jack looked at it, and he says, throw it over here. And I threw it over to Jack. Jack picked it up, looked at it, and threw it back. And the media says, oh, I scared him to death, and I did this. Well, you can ask him. He's right there. Ask him. I don't remember any part of that. All I remember is he threw a snake at me. <laughs> I tell you, we walked off this green yesterday, and there was a snake on the, on the little road here. It's a little... The history, as Nicholas now sets up for a second shot. 192 yards, and this with a four iron. That's certainly into the fat side of the green and away from that bunker, but leaves himself a pretty long putt. Now Trevino, as you see, 174 yards. This with a five. Pin position perfect for Lee. Beautiful shot. By that, I mean in the right side of the green because he's known for being able to cut the ball. It's a four iron. It's a good looking draw in here, something Lee's doing a lot more of as he gets a little bit older. And look at this shot, Jack. Wasn't that lovely? It's beautiful to watch. He just plays so many shots, cuts, hooks, low, high. And Nicholas, on the other hand, this is five iron, same distance, obviously. I don't want to hook it too much. And when you hook it, and it didn't have any stuff on it, you kind of pull it, gets about half a club too much, and better slow down. Just off the green. This from about 40 feet, maybe even longer than that. Oh, man. Better it's slow down. Better hit something. Anything. Wow. Now, that well, was a good there's when you go blank. That's all you can say about that. I thought I'm putting back up against the way from the ocean and it was going to go slower. That was a good putt. Good hey, it don't make any difference if you make the second one. The first one don't mean a damn thing. Don't mean nothing that first one if you make the next one. For some of the saddest words in golf, still your shunt. <laughs> Needs us for par three. around with that putter, huh? Yeah, you see him making two years. There was a three on the card. That first one don't mean nothing if you make the second one. There was a three <laughs> on the card. I think that makes Trevino's putt a little different. I think if Jack had missed that putt, Trevino would definitely have made this. Now, a little doubt in his mind. Let's see if he gets it inside the hole. Firm. And he does and goes to three under after missing. Hit a driver here on this par four. Easy, easy. It's got to get down. God, thing, I hit it too hard. Hold ball. Hold ball. Oh, baby. Oh, you little devil, you. God, I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to turn it that way. <laughs> Well, he can talk to a golf ball, and he, he? he has for a long time. Just a little surprised it's that driver going down wind now. I just uh, feel that, yeah, now Nicholas has a three wood. I think this is a little bit better play. He can hit it as hard as he wants and takes the waste area out of play. Oh, Jack. Honest. It's okay, okay. Hit soft. Nah, it's in the desert. Nah, hit soft. Man, I know my stuff. Hit soft. Watch. Yeah, I did, yeah. Well, that's one golf ball. Money about knocking it on the green. Even money. And you know what? Greatest fairway bunker player ever played the game right there. It's simply because he learned to play in Ohio, wet grass. He always kept the club off the ground. And now, if you'll watch him, he barely just touches the grass. But before it was completely, you could see daylight under the golf club. So when he gets into a fairway bunker or a waste bunker like this, David, 
It's just like playing in the uh, in the fairway. The only thing that he has to be careful with is to get a good footing, because once you slip a little bit, then it changes the angle of the club one way or the other. So, even money. <laughs> I think he's broken many a heart out of his fairway places. <laughs> That shot. He's broken another heart with that one. Well, Jack, he's done it so often, so many years, it doesn't even surprise me anymore. Magnificent. Now for the birdie. Vino has already made par. Got to hit it. I told you. Hey. Played a foot. Need to play a foot and a half. Yeah, baby. He's got to hit it hard. I told you. It broke too much. Fairway slopes right to left. And this was Jack's tee shot. Uh-oh, looks like the one to last. No, no, that's perfect Look, looking left. Oh, he didn't get a good kick either. Mm. No, it kicked left right onto the desert. And once you leave the fairway here, you are in the desert. And Jack, he didn't have any kind of shot, so he's just going to pitch out in the fairway. Which he did, and from there, he would make bogey on the ninth hole while Trevino made par. And so at the end of nine holes of play, Nicholas with a birdie. 150 and a yards, this one and that, and he better get all over this one. Pushed it again, Herman. Every one of these clubs are going a little right on me. Should have been perfect distance, too. God. Man, it might be the torque, huh? Never played with graphite before. <laughs> First time. Mm. Hey, good boy. Now, Nicholas. This from 140, also with a nan air. Uh, perfect. Perfect for distance, but he needs On the to green, go. Lee Trevino will put first. A little reflection on the beautiful weather here. It's about 25 feet. If you get there, no, it's going right. I would have missed it right. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it was going right. Now, Nicholas for birdie. Move to his right a little bit. I'd have hit it where I said I'd have made it, Jimmy. I'm a little surprised. Yeah. I am with the driver going the short way. Gary, got to go. Now I'd never make it. Yeah, he made it. I didn't think I made it. <laughs> I didn't it. Well, he's got a three shot lead, David. Loose. I thought well, I hit it too low. I just think that's a little I surprising. Thought I, it, I thought I hit it a little too low. Yeah, you say that. Good. I wonder if he's trying to get Nick. Let's give him a little lead. A little lead too low, Jack. I wonder. Yeah. I got it in the ear. Huh? Trying to sucker him in, huh? Oh, Jack's got the big one. Well, he's got to go, though. Yeah. He's the one that has to force the game and make the birdies. Yes. Oh, yeah. That's perfect, Jack. Better hurry. Yeah. Perfect. Yes. Yeah, I'm right. Well, he hits his best drive on the hardest driving hole that he's had to play since number one. Amazing, isn't it? That's the shot. This for the sandwich from 60 yards. Mm -hmm. Looks good. Oh, hit it, Jack. Ooh, just checked up real fast on him. Hit it. Boy, it looks short. Bright idea. Just didn't hit it hard enough. I was looking at that distance, and I said, man, that's short. Trevino after that big drive, just 45 yards from flag stick. This is sand iron. Oh, and this ought to be good. Right. Tap dance now. He's marvelous. A birdie, which he really must need. Big break to the right, Jack. Looks good. <laughs> Almost, huh? Yeah. This rather have missed it on the high side if you're going to miss. Tap in for a par for Nicholas, and now... Trevino has a chance to go four shots up. Yes, he does. Another birdie for Lee Trevino. And at the end of Very all... Very this is. 198 yards, but all downhill, so it doesn't play that long. But I'm a little surprised. Trevino with a three iron. He must be going to just hit a soft three. Well, 
that doesn't surprise me too much. He knocked it, uh, of course, through the green back there. He had a tough shot now, huh, Jack. Yes, indeed. Young Nicholas. And with a five iron. Oh, that one better get up a little bit. Ooh. <laughs> I, I danced on my tree. Living dangerously. Well, Ten. Trevino with a six iron jack from 159 yards. Now you're shooting back uphill here and the wind is coming in. He really better hit this six. Where do you go? Short. In the bunker. Hey, I think it's in the bunker, huh? There's a bunker right there in front. Now, Nicholas. This is from 142, and he also, this uh, plays long because you're going uphill. <laughs> Ooh, he just made it, too. Well, he hit that very solid. Got it all out. Uh, Trevino. Trevino's first mistake of the day. Not a good line. Very dangerous little shot if you get too cute with it. Should come out running. I'm gonna get sure to get it out. Yeah. Well, that ball was sitting down a little bit, and that's exactly what's gonna happen when you have that shot, no matter who you are. Well, here are our hosts for the week. Rick Rennick on the right there, director of golf here at Cabo, and Brad Wheatley, the head professional, and we thank them for all their many courtesies. Now, Trevino is for par. A little crack maybe in the facade that's been so good so far. Made it. Made it. Oh! oh. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. He went back left. <laughs> <laughs> well, he could afford to relax a little bit left. and smile, but uh, when a player says he made it, you usually think he's go. drilled it. <laughs> so a bogey for Lee, the first left. one today. To well, I hit the wrong club. I needed one more club. Well, that's what's, that's exactly what I was going to say, because it was not a bad shot. Now, Nick was a chance to pick up some ground. Two at once, if he can make this. Trevino, three shots up at the moment as we pick up the second shots here at the par five. Jack Nicholas. This with a three iron. We keep this ball out to the right. Fairway down by the green slopes to the player's left on the shoot just at the right hand bunker. No, Jack. So he, yeah. he hit behind it, Jack, and just as you know, he just turns the club over, pulls it left. Not a good shot. That's as much as I've ever heard him get upset. <laughs> yes. Don't feel bad. I might be down there with you. Yeah, but you're four shots ahead. I could probably keep a five wood straighter. You know, it wouldn't, it wouldn't lap over around so much. You know what I'm talking about? I'm afraid that that... Okay. See, on that tall grass, I'm afraid that they... Okay. You know, that'll grab the club. See, I can... I can probably... do a little bit more with this one. This with a five wood. Yeah, same thing, see? Oh, bad. Look That's at that this. Stuff there. Wow, look at this is going. Oh, boy. See it, Grant? Oh, what a lie for Trevino. Look at this. And Jack, if that's unplayable, now he's got some options that he can have under a one-stroke penalty. He can drop it two club lengths either side of the ball, not near the hole, or he can keep that point between he and the hole and go back as far as he'd like, or go back to where he played the original shot, all with just the one-stroke penalty. Now, he's going to try to hit this, Jack. I don't know if he can move this thing. <laughs> Missed it once. Get too far behind that one. Bounced over it. Missed it twice. Three times. My, oh, my. He's making a meal of this, isn't he? Well, Jack will make a meal of him if he keeps doing it. Suddenly, this has really changed. His sixth shot. He's just not on the green yet. <laughs> you sound like you've never done that before. I've done that quite a few times. <laughs> That's a little lie. 
Now Nicholas's third shot. So big change here at the 15th. It's not an easy shot. I've got to carry this a long way. Beautiful shot. It's the slope got him. I thought that might stop a little quicker, but Green going away from him a little bit there. Now the match is virtually even. This is seventh shot for Trevino. My Lord. Thank goodness he had a three-stroke lead. There's a good shot. Why don't we put the brakes on, huh? Well, if Jack two putts and uh, Lee can make his, all of a sudden what looked like a rout is going to be even. But anyhow, let's see what happens. Nicholas about due to hit a good putt. I don't even think he's hit the hole all day, Jack. <laughs> Putter. Another case of the lefts. Left with his driver and left with his putter. So a par for Jack Nicholas, And now Lee Trevino for a triple bogey eight. That's a hard eight. You just want us to have a match. That's a hard eight. <laughs> What a turnaround we've had. It looked like a runaway for Trevino. Now this We're match talking about the last hole. I mean, that just shows you about this game being so capricious. I mean, you hit all these good shots in a row and then, wow. You know, I, I said that when when Jack hit it over in the waste bunker, I said, man, I said, don't be surprised if I'm not over there with you because I saw what I had. It was down in the mushy grass. And the reason I took the, the, the five wood is because I thought it would slide through there much better than an iron. I knew I was going to do that with an iron, but... Uh, uh, got, uh, I was just trying to punch it down the right side because Jack's already in there. I'm just trying to keep it above uh, water, but Jack, look, at he's getting close. Look, He wants to get in, doesn't he? He wants to say something. I see him over here looking at me. Well, he ought to say thank you is what he no, ought to say. Oh, it's okay. I want to thank him for inviting me. That's it. Well, how, can you, how can you not? I mean, you know, you, you're playing a match and you're killing me, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden you said, well, I've got the three prettiest holes in golf. He says, how can I make a match out of it? You, you just did. <laughs> These final three holes. Back on the tee, uh, I do believe, with the three wood. Mm hmm. Enjoying a second life here. Oh, what are you trying to do? Pay me back? <laughs> no, no, no. That is way right. And, oh, and that hit something hard. See that? <laughs> Try to hit it over the bucket. You, you, right well, you, feel, uh, you feel sorry for me? Don't feel sorry for me. My, oh, my. I wouldn't feel sorry for anyone until I finished. Now, Trevino with a driver, what an opportunity he's got. Perfect. Oh, that is very well done. It's on the slope of the bunker. Bounces back into the middle of the... That might be all right, but the backswing getting Jack, and he's just got to punch it out. Unlike the ninth hole, though, he can go forward with this one. Is that something or what? Old man like me, old man like me with these two kids like them, huh? I always carry them in my back pocket. That's, that's my boy, that's my boy. <laughs> and my little girl. What's that? 116. Now, Nicholas, second shot. Glad it's downhill. Yeah, he had a very short back swing there, didn't he? <laughs> I don't believe I've seen him have two chip outs in one round ever. <laughs> so he is there in two, and Lee is there in one. Yeah, so after giving it back, Trevino now has a chance to, to maybe get a little lead here with a good shot. This was a pitching wedge. Oh, that's kind of a wild-looking pitching wedge. Yes. I don't know if I'd have made that bunker or not. I'd have had to hit it harder than that. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I might have needed a nine iron even to get really over that part of the bunker. Nicholas, third shot. This with a pitching wedge also. 117 yards. Now, this looks a little better. Uh -huh. Old high. Got a chance to save a par. Well, now Trevino for birdie. From the 
good distance. Oh, right in the mouth, Herman. Oh, no, it was going. About 25 feet. You can see it was moving out to the right as it finished. Some uninterested onlookers. They're more interested in those marlin or something. Now, Nicholas for par. From about eight feet, he's sure due to hit a good putt. At least hit a good one. Man, he doesn't even hit the whole jack. I've never seen him putt like this. Nope. One of his strengths has been his weakness. Six iron. Oh, good looking swing. Good looking shot. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's right club. That's <laughs> tough for one stroke three. You know, they got a little helping wind. But the thing about going across a shot like this, you've got to get that in the air right away because then the wind helps you. It doesn't knock you down. Nicholas now with a 7 a. Good looking shot. Right, right on land. Well, right at it. The two very good shots on this hole. This is scary looking hole to me. Hey, broke my new header, Jimmy. Nicholas, after a good iron shot, this about 15 feet. Going uphill a little. He really needs one now. Oh, and he missed it from the start. Nice putt. Well, that's as poor putting round as I've seen Jack ever have, I do believe. Not only not made, most of them really not close or not lipping out. So Trevino now for a birdie and to stretch his lead. If he should make it, two-shot lead is certainly a lot better to play with than one going to 18. He does. What a great two for Lee Trevino. Went off the tee at 18. Not surprising. You just want to put it in the fairway, but keep it safe. Good shot in the fairway, Jack. And you don't want to leave this man any openings, uh, Nicholas. He's already done him a favor at 15. He doesn't need to do another one. Which is about the worst drive he had all day at 15. It set up a bad second shot for him, but yeah, Jack's had trouble off the tee and a little bit, as you pointed out, on the greens. Yeah. And yeah, now Nicholas, also with a three wood. Well, he puts this one in the fairway, so a uh, little bit of golf still left here, and we'll At be 18. back. 18. Seven iron from 170 yards. Oh, oh that's a good shot. Well, I thought it might roll a little more to the right than it did. It didn't catch as much of the slope as I thought it would. Still, he's on the green, and he's got a chance now. Trevino from 155 yards. This is an 8-iron. Ooh, a little bounce there, huh? A little bounce and a little spin. He caught the other side of the hill, so it took it away from the hole. Well, here come these two old adversaries who have given us another great show here today. So about 35 feet. You've got to be a little careful. It goes up over a hill and then down away from you right there. Look, this is really going. <laughs> oh, the back there, of the cup. If there was any chance for Jack, it just went down there. How about this? A birdie here on the hole. I thought I knocked it in the water. Thanks. I thought, I thought when you hit the putt, I said, you're going to give me a chance. <laughs> and you knocked it right in the hole. Nice play. You played well. Thanks very much. Yes, Thank you. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> he says you're off the green. I said not. I think he's dead on. <laughs> I wouldn't have gone that far. No. He hasn't made one all day. I don't know why he want, wants to make one now. Yeah, but he's always making away way <laughs> And Herman has watched him make a lot of those putts, too, through the years, as we all have. And he does make up a lot. Has he made another one at 18? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Finally, he thinks a putt on the day, huh? <laughs> you did putt bad. <laughs> oh, I putted awful. 
That is so bad. Oh, you did play bad. I mean, I needed it. Thanks very much. Thanks very much. I enjoyed it. Thank you for the invitation. It's the slope got him. I thought that might stop a little quicker, but Green going away from him a little bit there. Now the match is virtually even. This is seventh shot for Trevino. My Lord. Thank goodness he had a three-stroke lead. There's a good shot. Why don't we put the brakes on, huh? Well, if Jack two putts and uh, Lee can make his, all of a sudden what looked like a rout is going to be even. But anyhow, let's see what happens. If it's about due to hit a good putt, I don't even think he's hit the hole all day, Jack. <laughs> Birdie putt. Uh, In the case of the lefts, left with his driver and left with his putter. So a par for Jack Nicholas, and now Lee Trevino for a triple bogey eight. Want us to have a match. That's a hard eight. <laughs> what a turnaround we've had. It looked like a runaway for Trevino. Now this We're talking about over. the last hole. I mean, that just shows you about this game being so capricious. I mean, you hit all these good shots in a row and then, wow. You know, I, I said that when when Jack hit it over in the waste bunker, I said, man, I said, don't be surprised if I'm not over there with you because I saw what I had. It was down in the mushy grass. And the reason I took the, the, the five wood is because I thought it would slide through there much better than an iron. I knew I was going to do that with an iron, but uh, uh, got uh, I was just trying to punch it down the right side because Jack's already in there. I'm just trying to keep it above uh, water, but... Jack, look at he's getting close. Look, he wants to get in, doesn't he? He wants to say something. I see him over here looking at me. Well, he ought to say thank you is what he. Oh, no, it's okay. I want to thank him for inviting me. That's it. Well, how can you? How can you not? I mean, you know, you you're playing a match and you're killing me, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden you said, "Well, I've got the three prettiest holes in golf." He says, "How can I make a match out of it?" And you, you just did. <laughs> These final three holes. Back on the first. tee, uh, I do believe with the three wood. Mm-hmm. Enjoying a second life here. Oh, what what are you trying to do? Pay me back? <laughs> no, 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 no. That is way right. And, oh, and that hit something hard. See that? <laughs> Try to hit it over the box. You, you, right well, you feel, uh, you feel sorry for me? Don't feel sorry for me. My, oh, my. I wouldn't feel sorry for anyone until I finished. Now, Trevino with a driver, what an opportunity he's got. Perfect. Oh, that is very well done. It's on the slope of the bunker, bounces back into the middle of the bunker. Really not close. We're not lipping out. So Trevino now for a birdie and to stretch his lead. If he should make it, two-shot lead is certainly a lot better to play with than one going to 18. He does. What a great two for Lee Trevino. Went off the tee at 18. Not surprising. You just want to put it in the fairway, but keep it safe. Another good shot in the fairway. Jack, you don't want to leave this man any openings. Uh, Nicholas, he's already done him a favor at 15. He doesn't need to do another one. Which is about the worst drive he had all day at 15. Set up a bad second shot for him, but yeah, Jacks had trouble off the tee and a little bit, as you pointed out, on the greens. Yeah, and yeah, now Nicholas also with a three wood. <laughs> well, he puts this one in the fairway, so a uh, little bit of golf still left here. And we'll At be 18. Back. Seven iron from 170 yards. Oh, oh that's a good shot. Well, I thought it might roll a little more to the right than it did. It didn't catch as much of the slope as I thought it would. Still, he's on the green and he's got a chance now. Trevino from 155 yards. This is an eight iron. Oh, 
little bounce there, huh? Little bounce and little spin. He caught the other side of the hill, so it took it away from the hole. Well, here come these two old adversaries who've given us another great show here today. So about 35 feet. You've got to be a little careful. It goes up over a hill and then down away from you right there. Look, this is really going. <laughs> Well, back to the cup. If there was any chance for Jack, it just went down there. How about this? A birdie here on the horn. I thought I knocked it in the water. Thanks. I thought, I thought when you hit the putt, I said, you're going to give me a chance. <laughs> and you knocked it right in the hole. Nice play. You played well. Thanks very much. Yes, you did. Thank you. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> he says you're off the green. I said not. If you stood on. <laughs> I wouldn't have gone that far. Oh. He hasn't made one all day. I don't know why he want, wants to make one now. Yeah, but he's always making away too. And Herman has watched him make a lot of those putts, too, through the years, as we all have. And he does make up a lot. As he made Trevino, my Lord. Thank goodness he had a three-stroke lead. There's a good shot. Well, we put the brakes on, huh? Well, if Jack two putts and uh, Lee can make his, all of a sudden what looked like a rout is going to be even. But anyhow, let's see what happens. If it's about due to hit a good putt, I don't even think he's hit the hole all day, Jack. <laughs> Birdie putt. Uh, putt. In the case of the lefts, left with his driver and left with his putter. So a par for Jack Nicholas, and now Lee Trevino for a triple bogey eight. That's a hard eight. You just want us to have a match. That's a hard eight. <laughs> what a turnaround we've had. It looked like a runaway for Trevino. Now this. We're talking about the last hole. I mean, that just shows you about this game being so capricious. I mean, you hit all these good shots in a row, and then, wow. You know, I, I said that when when Jack hit it over in the waste bunker, I said, man, I said, don't be surprised if I'm not over there with you because I saw what I had. It was down in the mushy grass, and the reason I took the, the, the five wood is because I thought it would slide through there much better than an iron. I knew I was going to do that with an iron, but... Uh, uh, got, uh, I was just trying to punch it down the right side because Jack's already in there. I'm just trying to keep it above uh, water, but Jack, look, at he's getting close. Look, He wants to get in, doesn't he? He wants to say something. I see him over here looking at me. Well, he ought to say thank you is what he ought to say. Oh, it's okay. I want to thank him for inviting me. That's it. Well, how, can you, how can you not? I mean, you know, you, you're playing a match and you're killing me, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden you said, well, I've got the three prettiest holes in golf. He says, how can I make a match out of it? And you, just, you just did. <laughs> These final three holes. Back on the tee, uh, I do believe, with the three wood. Mm hmm. Enjoying a second life here. Oh, what what are you trying to do? Pay me back? <laughs> no, 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 no. That is way right. And, oh, and that hit something hard. See that? <laughs> trying to hit it over the bottom. You, you, right well, you, feel, uh, you feel sorry for me? Don't feel sorry for me. My, oh, my. I wouldn't feel sorry for anyone until I finished. Now, Trevino with a driver, what an opportunity he's got. Perfect. Oh, that is very well done. It's on the slope of the bunker. Bounces back into the middle of the That might be all right, but the back's going to get in jack, and he's just got to punch it out. Unlike the ninth hole, though, he can go forward with this one. Is that something or what? Old man like me, old man like me with these two kids like them, huh? I was some uninterested onlookers. They're more interested in those marlin or something. Now Nicholas for par. From about eight feet, he's sure due to hit a good putt. At least hit a good one. Man, he doesn't even hit the old jack. I've never seen him putt like this. Yep. One of his strengths has been his weakness. Six iron. Oh, good looking swing. Good looking shot. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's tough. That's tough for one stroke win. You know, they got a little helping wind. But the thing about going across a shot like this, you've got to get that in the air right away because then the wind helps you. It doesn't knock you down. Nicholas now with a seven iron. Look 
good shot. Right, right, right on lane. Yep. Right at it. The two very good shots on this hole. This is scary looking hey, hole to me. Hey, broke my no header, Jimmy. Nicholas, after a good iron shot, this about 15 feet. Going uphill a little. He really needs one now. Oh, and he missed it from the start. Nice putt. Well, that's as poor putting round as I've seen Jack ever have, I do believe. Not only not made, most of them really not close or not lipping out. So Trevino now for a birdie and to stretch his lead. If he should make it. Two-shot lead is certainly a lot better to play with than one going to 18. He does. What a great two for Lee Trevino. Put off the tee at 18. Not surprising. You just want to put it in the fairway, but keep it safe. Another good shot in the fairway, Jack. You don't want to leave this man any openings, uh, Nicholas. He's already done him a favor at 15. He doesn't need to do another one. Which is about the worst drive he had all day at 15. Set up a bad second shot for him, but yeah, Jack's had trouble off the tee and a little bit, as you pointed out, on the greens. Yeah. Yeah. Now Nicholas also with a three wood. Well, he puts this one in the fairway, so a uh, little bit of golf still left here, and we'll be back. 18. Seven iron from 170 yards. Where you are, Chris Gallery. Where we are. Well, that's certainly into the fat side of the green and away from the bunker, but leaves himself a pretty long putt. Oh, now, uh, Trevino. As you see, 174 yards. This with a five. Pin position perfect for Lee. Yeah. Oh, what a beautiful shot. By that, I mean in the right side of the green because he's known for being able to cut. This is a four iron. Can draw in here, something Lee's doing a lot more of as he gets a little bit older. And look at this shot, Jack. Wasn't that lovely? Mm. He is beautiful to watch. He just plays so many shots, cuts, hooks, low, high. And Nicholas, on the other hand, this is a five iron, same distance, obviously. Too much. Well, you hook it, and it didn't have any stuff on it. If you kind of pull it, it gets about half a club too much, and better slow down. Just off the green. This is about 40 feet, maybe even longer than that. Oh man! Better hit slow down. Rip. Better hit something. Anything. Wow. Now that well, was a good There's when you go blank. That's all you can say about that. I thought I'm putting back up against the way from the ocean and it's going to go slower. That was a good putt. Good hey, it don't make any difference if you make the second one. The first one don't mean a damn thing. Don't mean nothing, that first one, if you make the next one. For some of the saddest words in golf, still your shot. <laughs> Needs us for a par three. around with that putter, huh? Yeah, you see him making for years. It was a three on the card. That first one don't mean nothing if you make the second one. It was a three <laughs> on the card. Yeah, I think that makes Trevino's putt a little different. I think if Jack had missed that putt, Trevino would definitely have made this. Now, a little doubt in his mind. Let's see if he gets it inside the hole. Firm. And he does, and goes to three under after missing. Hit a driver here on this par four. 
hit the six. Where do you go? Short. In the bunker. Okay, Tiff. I think it's in the bunker. There's a bunker right there in front. Now, Nicholas. This from 142, and he also, this uh, plays long because you're going uphill. <laughs> Ooh, he just made it, too. Well, he hit that very solid. Got it whole half. Trevino. Trevino's first mistake of the day. Not a good line. Very dangerous little shot if you get too cute with it. Should come out running. I'm gonna get sure get it out. Well, that ball was sitting down a little bit, and that's exactly what's gonna happen when you have that shot, no matter who you are. Well, here are our hosts for the week. Rick Rennick on the right there, director of golf here at Cabo, and Brad Wheatley, the head professional, and we thank them for all their many courtesies. Now Trevino. This is for par. A little crack maybe in the facade that's been so good so far. Made it. Made it. Oh! oh. Ooh. 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 He went back left. <laughs> <laughs> well, he could afford to relax a little bit. Left. And smile, but uh, when a player says he made it, it's usually that he has drilled it. <laughs> so a bogey for Lee, the first one today. Well, I hit the wrong club. I needed one more club. Well, that's what that's exactly what I was going to say, because it was not a bad shot. Now, Nick was a chance to pick up some ground. Two at once, if he can make this. Trevino, three right. shots up at the moment as we pick up the second shots here at the par five. Jack Nicholas. This with a three iron. We keep this ball out to the right. Fairway down by the green slopes to the player's left. on the shoot just at the right hand bunker. No, Jack. So he, yeah. he hit behind it, Jack, and just as you know, he just turns the club over, pulls it left. Not a good shot. That's as much as I've ever heard him get upset. <laughs> yes. Don't feel bad. I might be down there with you. Yeah, but you're four shots ahead. I could probably keep a five wood straighter. You know, it wouldn't it wouldn't lap over around so much. You know what I'm talking about? I'm afraid of that. See, on that tall grass, I'm afraid that they. Okay. You know, that'll grab the club. See, I can. I can probably. Do it a little bit more with this one. 